YouTube, Simply. Oh, I'm a little luckier. And the money here, the Simply Caden over here. And today we have one of the most epic videos we will ever make with the collection that Kaiba has brought us. Kaiba's here watching over us. Ooh, Kaiba. Kaiba! But uh, Kaiba's collection, I know you guys have seen other videos where we've brought different pieces of the Kaiba collection, but Kaiba was like, you know what, I'm going to send you the collection all for one video. And we're like, bro. And he was like, dude, <laughs> do it, Yugi. So we're like, okay. So we have the entire Kaiba collection here, and we felt like we should pop it all open for you guys on one video, not slow it down, speed it up, and we're going to go over the different values with the HUD. The heads up display will have pop up the different values of the uh, different products, but we're not, we don't actually know the products at the moment. And so we actually don't know the value of the video that we're gonna put in the title either. And so hopefully you guys enjoy that. But once again, this is not to show off our collection. This is for the Simply Unlucky card shop, uh, which we're investing in for the future. That's what all these products will be for. Uh, so for right now, most of these probably won't even be open for videos. Maybe every now and then if they're uh, unlimited edition, first edition obviously being just too dang high, but um, but yeah, you guys. So once again, that is the reason why we have this collection is for the future and the dream of the Simply Unlucky Card Shop. So you guys, be ready for that. So what we're gonna have do uh, have these guys do is they're gonna grab some boxes. They're gonna make sure they're opened up with some scissors, and then we're gonna review it right here on the camera for you guys. So you guys ready? Ready. Yep. Let's That's get great. started. So uh, I'll take one of those boxes, and then you guys grab one for yourselves to open up, and we'll get started. Oh, that's a big one. And so, yeah, let's do it. So first box here is pretty big, actually. Yeah, we can, we can do this. And so these guys will probably be standing up for most of the video. But this is definitely going to be one of the most insane, I guess, what, packages ever opened in a video before. So for sure, for Yu-Gi-Oh! anyways. All right, so first box, you guys. You guys ready for this? We have no idea what each box holds. So yeah, you can keep going, Katie, get another box. Open it up, open up. So first box we have here is a, includes one secret rare to GX tins. These are the, collect all six secret rare GX tins. Holy moly, you guys. Is this actually a sealed collection? Yeah, actually, yeah, because I think so, sometimes you would get more than one. So this is a, um, Elemental Hero Plasma Vice. We got four Elemental Hero Plasma Vices here. And, who, dude, we got three Volcanic Doom Fires. And it was 2007 collection tints. So these are the Yu Gi Oh! 2007s. And then we have one, two, three, four, five of the, ooh, Rainbow Dragon. Out of these three tins, I would definitely prefer to get the Rainbow Dragon. So this is actually pretty freaking sweet. So, uh, wow. I don't think I've ever owned a case of this. In the Simply Unlucky collection before. Have you guys seen a case of this before? I have not seen a case before, but I've definitely seen all of these. Before. Yeah. Wow. Rainbow Dragon Tin. So, things like this, though, I think we definitely want to make a video every now and then for because this is just fun. Just pure enjoyment and entertainment for you guys. So, that is a 2006 7, sorry, case of Yu Gi Oh! GX Tins. Uh, Lynn Money, you want to go set this over there to the side? Yes. We'll keep it moving here. So, Lynn's package next here. Is it seriously going to be more tins? Oh gosh. Oh gosh, this is fun. I like this. I like Yu-Gi-Oh, you guys, by the way. I don't know if you guys knew, but me and Yu-Gi-Oh, we get along. Is this another tin case? Dude. Oh man. Look at this one. I don't know if it's sealed or what. Be sure to try to get the cardboards. Um, so, dude, Kaiba's like watching us right now. And he's like, <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh. So here we go. It is a 2005... Tin case. Oh, is there at least two? Yahoo! Oh, baby, you guys. Oh, man. What am I doing right now? Okay, I'm just trying to remember here. So, this is either 2005 or 2004. I think 2004 was Insect Queen, and then this is 2005, where the tins were a little more skinny. It could be reversed. But either way, epic tins, you guys. Wow. Wow, this is actually happening. This is a full case. So, there's two of each tin. So first off, we have the Rocket Warrior tin, sealed in a freaking case. Dude, this is this is too freaking cool. Okay, so we have sealed Rocket Warrior tin, and so we have two of those in here because we do want to try to get the prices for you guys to get you an idea of what this collection is worth. This is going to be a longer video. I don't know if you guys are already noticing that. Lynn Money and Caden are already working hard. Um, 
And then we have Panther Warrior tents. And these are the Joey's. The Joey packs are the Joey tents. Two Vam... Uh, what's it called? Panther Warriors. And in these packs, you have a Dark Beginning, Dark Revelation, Soul of the Duelist, Rise of Destiny, and Flame Eternity. So, pretty cool. So we'll put those two back. That's the Joey... Joey tins there. And then we have, it looks like, two Xerion Universe tins, which is the perps. Very cool. Xerion Universe. I feel like we've opened a lot of Xerion Universe on our channel. I think these are two and five. 2005 tins. And then, of course, Vorse Raider. He's a wicked beast that loves doing all wicked things imaginable. Or does wicked things and loves it. Something like that. And then, the almighty... Um, Guilford the Lightning tin, you guys. That's actually insane. And so it's two of each of these tins. And then one of the rarest and most valuable tins from that 2003 to 2005 era. The Dark Magician Girl tin, you guys. Sealed and mint condition straight from a case. We have two of these. That is so cool. I am so excited for the future of the SU Corp uh, card shop that we plan to bring you guys eventually. One day, one day. Um... If this video hasn't been done before or after the Patreon update, you guys, we definitely, you'll definitely see a lot of what we're talking about on there. All right. Next item or product over here. Um, okay. Are we just going to do more tins? We're going to switch it up with something else. This looks like it's more tins, yeah? So let's, uh, let's get a different box. And by the way, you guys, oh, what is this? Oh, man. Okay. All right, so uh, we're gonna go ahead and take these out here from a box that Kaiba has sent us. Oh my gosh, OMG, I think I know what this is. Oh, this is gonna be some of the most rarest Yu-Gi-Oh packs in the world. Oh no. Um, so a cool thing we can do is actually start stacking the product after you open most of it. Does that make sense? Yeah. So like the different 10 cases, but not yet, not yet. Okay, scissors? Wait, no, I don't think I can open these. It's going to lose their value. I think these are actual sealed boxes of championship pack. Oh, no. Oh, no. I don't know what to do. I think I'm just going to open it. Oh, man. You guys, this is actually insane. I don't know what this is. Oh, I don't want to open it. Oh, man. This is scary. 100 TP7 English. Should I just do it? Do it. What's happening? Wow, that is a hundred tournaments. That was a sealed booster box of tournament seven, you guys. Sealed. And uh, we're gonna leave it sealed for now. And just, uh, wow, that is a tournament seven box. Holy guacamole. And it looks like we have a, is this seriously gonna be championship pack? Oh no, oh no, oh no. Championship pack two. 100 packs, sealed box. Wait, is that, is Book of Moon Championship? I don't even know, I don't even know right now. These got, these packs are literally priceless. This is some of the most rarest packs like in all of Yu-Gi-Oh. Championship pack two. Kaden, can you check real quick on the computer? Like yes. what's in, what's in CPO two? Oh my gosh, CPO two, is this CPO five? People are probably like watching right now and they're like, dude, is that, are you opening sealed freaking boxes? So, what we're going to do is try to find an average amount for these. Just to give you guys an idea of what a... Like, when we do the HUD. The HUD's popping up right now. So, $100, 100, or 100 packs of Championship Pack 2. C, CPO2 has what cards? CPO2 has Magical Stone Estimation. Okay. Nimble Mamonga, Magician of Faith. Oh, Magician of Faith is in there? Pyramid Turtle, oh. Smashing Ground, Karibo. Does that Metamorphosis? Uh... No. Terraform is in it? Yeah. Um, well, the foil cards. Do you want to look at like this? Super rares? Uh, that's a, that's a rare. Yeah, he's super, super rares. So that's the Magician of Faith pack. Yes. Okay. Yeah. What about Championship Pack 5? We have 100 of these as well. 100 packs. Championship Pack 5. Okay, so Ultra Rare for that is wow. Main Sanctuary. Okay. Uh, super rares are Giant Germ. Magical Merchant. Magical wave Merchant. Motion oh, Wave Motion. Super rare. And Trap Dust Shoot. Oh, Trap Dust Shoot. Oh. Classic card that they banned. I think it's banned. Maybe it's not banned anymore. I always forget. 
Um, I'm gonna break all these seals, you guys, just because like people need proof on what they are, because I can't look through the box. So let's just see what happens. First ones, I think these are all tournament pack type packs. Yeah, tournament pack season one boost uh, box, 20 packs sealed. Ho ho ho, dude! There could be a freaking TP one morphing jar in there, dude. You get a tournament pack one morphing jar graded straight from the pack. I don't even know the value of that. I think there's only like two tens in the entire world. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Is it all TP1s? Tournament pack two, sealed box, 20 packs. Dude, this is the coolest thing I've ever seen. I'm so excited right now. Oh my gosh. What was this? This was a box, right? This yeah. This was a small box, yeah. Tournament pack one, sealed box again. Oh my gosh. I don't even want to touch these packs. This is just dirty. This is, you guys, this is sealed boxes. Sealed boxes. I believe it's 20 packs per box. I don't even, I know these things used to sell for like 250 a box, but now I don't even know. Because people don't really want to buy it because they're not sure if they've been weighed or the foils have been beeped out. You know, you don't know. Wow. And then third season, turn pack three. So turn pack three, two, and two ones boxes. I believe it's 20 packs per box. Wow. You guys, this has been sitting around for like 2002 for two season one probably. So what is that, 16 years? 16 years. That's older than some of you guys. That's crazy. That's crazy. Here, Kate, you want to put these somewhere for now without hurting them? All right, next box. Lynn, you got something for me over here? Yeah. Okay. Are you going to put these on the desks? All right. So we're working together here so you guys don't see too much shenanigans going on. Oh, it's a... Whoa. Oh, it's a Duelist Pack Collectors. Katie, can you check this out for me? See what's inside here? Actually, never mind. We're good. Um, we have an entire case of... Duelist Pack Collection here. It has, each Duelist Pack includes a Duelist Pack Jaden Yuki, a Duelist Pack Chaz Princeton, Jaden Yuki 2, and Astro Phoenix. And we have a case which is, let's just take it out. Actually, we have two cases, I guess. So we'll just take it out of the box here because it looks cool. It's one, two, three, four, five, six per case. So 12 overall. And so we'll take this out because we like shooting stuff off. So it's two of those. Oh, there's the front of it. There you go. Two cases of that. That was a quicker one. It's nice to have a uh, Chaz Princeton pack stuff. That's definitely we need more sealed than that. Okay, so here's another box. What's in here? What is this? Blister packs? Oh, Forbidden Legacy, a freaking sealed case of Forbidden Legacy? No. One of three secret rare cards, dude. These secret rare cards. What is it? It's Dark Magician, um, Blue Eyes. I think Dark Magician, Blue Eyes, and Red Eyes, maybe? No, it's not Red Eyes. I think it's something else. We opened like one or three of these, I feel like, on Simple and Lucky. This is an entire case, you guys. So this is like a 2004 reprint. Oh my gosh, look at this. This is entire, it's a sealed case. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, oh crap, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. 24 of these, you guys. That means this is basically an unlimited box of 24 packs for Legend of Blue Eyes, Metal Raiders, and Spell Ruler, all in a sealed case. And it could even have a better ratio than a booster box. And you get your foil, wow! Your foil Blue Eyes and Red Eyes. Wow. Times 24 Forbidden Legacy. That is extremely cool, Kaden. Good call on that one. Wow. All right, what's next? You're gonna like this one. Oh, I'm gonna like this one? I think I'm gonna like all of these, to be honest. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Are you guys ready for this right now? I'm gonna block the mic. Yeah, there's like another camera over there, but we'll just kind of leave it. Oh no. Is that what I think it is? 2003? Oh no. Oh no. Dude. Dude, no. Dude, what is this? Dude, my soul. That's a 2003, that's two Joey tins from 2003. Freaking Kaiba, you're crazy. Kaiba, you're crazy. By the way, this is like a mini uh, tour of our uh, studio, or I guess this is, we call this the SHQ. So this is the Simply and Lucky headquarters, the Simply headquarters, SHQ. And so uh, this is where we do all of our shenanigans, our Simply shenanigans um, as a team. But, uh, Yes. Oh my god, it's a freaking 2003 Blue Eyes. Oh, you beautiful beast. I don't know if I could ever open that, you guys. 
that is some, oh my gosh, those things are so hard to find, especially like, oh, oh, two, two blue eyes, 2,000 threes. Oh, Caden. Oh, Caden. What else is in here? Oh, it's more? Is it just more? It, doesn't, it just doesn't stop? Oh no, what's next? Oh no! 2003 Dark Magician, baby! Oh, Kaiba! Kaiba! Oh, wait a minute. Isn't this 2002? Or is this 2002? Uh, I think it's 2002. Okay. Uh, XYZ Dragon Cannon. Where's, where's Joey? Where's Joey? Jizz now, baby! Let's go! 2003, straight out of the freaking tin case. Oh my gosh, and another Dark Magician. It's a full freaking case, you guys. It's two of each, right, for the case? Oh my gosh. My soul is leaping with joy. Leaping with joy, you guys. I don't even know what to do with my life. Oh, this is like birthday... Christmas, everything all to oh my god, Buster Blader's in here too. Dude, it doesn't stop. Buster Blader, 2003, straight from the case. Or is this, is this two cases? This is two cases, right? A case is one of each. You don't know. Yeah, well, I think it's two. I think it's two cases, yeah. So this is two cases of 2003 tints. The value is extraordinary right now. Oh my gosh. What is happening? Two Jiznos. Two Jiznos. That's so stupid. You guys remember that? That was a long time ago. Wow. Dark Magician, Blue Eyes, Gear Free, Jizno, XYZ Dragon, Buster Blader. Okay, good call, man. That was definitely pretty cool. What's next? Alright, let's check it. There's more tins. We just have lots of tins. We have a lot of tins. But we have special stuff coming. We're gonna wait till we have the gym books. Special stuff. We already did some special stuff. You guys see those tournament pack boxes? Those are too special. That was pretty special. Oh my gosh! Another tin case, boys! Oh man, you guys know what this one is, right? Oh no! Oh no! It is a look for three new tins. Sorry, Kyber. You okay? Okay. Wow. Give it to us, Kyber! Dude, is that three? That's four of each. Four Elemental Hero Neos tins. Uh, 2006 here? Yeah. 2006. Four Cyber Dragon tins here? Dude. Four and four Raviel Lord of Phantasms upside down because he's so freaking evil. Look at that. Four Raviel tins. What? I know the value on those is pretty insane too. Man, Kaiba, what are you doing, man? What are you doing? All right. All right. Switch it up. Here we go. Another, that's a tin case and a tin case. Jeez. And then what do we got? All right. Uh, what? Oh, this box has got lots of stuff going on here. Okay, lots of stuff. Let's do this. So, I mean, I can't really, can I show it over there at least? Okay, here we go. This one looks like it's mixed tins. Our first tin is from 2010. It is a Black Wing Dragon tin. Uh, next, we have from 2003, another Kaiba tin. XYZ Dragon Cannon, you guys. What is going on? Oh man, is this another 2003? Jeez. Oh, it's a 2002! The Dark Magician, baby! Kaiba, what is this? Oh! Oh, it's a first edition starter deck! What? I didn't even know these were in the collection! No way! No way! Dude, you guys, it's like one of the rarest things in Yu-Gi-Oh! right now. Do you guys know what the PSA graded 10 of this Blue Eyes is? I don't even know if it exists! A PSA 10 first edition blue eyes from the starter deck. Like, that is crazy. I didn't even know. Where am I right now? <laughs> Kaiba Evolution, non first. That's cool. I mean, I just like, what, what can you even get after these two things? This is a 2002 Dark Magician and a 2000. Is this 2002? I think that was the first thing that was released. Um, but yeah, 2002 
first edition kind of a starter deck. Literally, you guys, this was the first Yu-Gi-Oh item, along with Dark Magician. That is just crazy to think about. And once again, some of you guys weren't even born yet. That's, dude. Lynn, you were like two. <laughs> no, three. Three? 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 No. Five. 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 Yeah. Lynn, yeah, you guys are both 21, right? Yeah. yeah. All right. What else we got? We have a, uh, oh my gosh, what is that? Is that a Yugi? Oh, first edition, dude, that's like mint. Oh god, oh god, I don't know if I could open that one. Oh, it's got a little bump. It's got a little bump. You bumping me, man. Wow, first edition Star Deck Yugi. I don't even know the value, man. I don't even know. Well, the odds of you getting PSA 10 is like a 50 50 straight out of the box, so I mean, it just matters what mood PSA's in. Wow, dude. I don't even know. I've never opened a first edition store. They're both first. I've never, I've never opened one of those before. Oh my god. Okay. Um, See, so it's like what, what's up for that? <laughs> Shooting Star Dragon. Ten. That's cool. 2010. Let's keep going through this box. Uh, I don't want to hurt things that are inside. Here, set it on the table. Okay. Okay. So. Oh my gosh, dude. First edition structure deck um, judgment, right? Spellcaster's judgment. Okay, let's like put these up here. Sorry, kind of ahead. But like, dude, like what is that right there? That's crazy. Um, a structure deck invincible fortress first edition. I mean, I don't know if I've actually I know we've we've opened those first edition before, but it's just like really though. Yeah, sealed first editions is crazy for all this stuff. Structure deck, Warriors Triumph, that goes with the uh, Judgment over there, I think, or close to it at least. Another Kaiba Evolution because Kaiba needs to continue to evolve just like Simple and Lucky does. Hashtag shout out to the new Patreon update that we've either done or are doing soon. I don't want to talk about giveaway things, you guys. But yeah, started at Pegasus, unlimited there. My boy Peg. And um, another, ooh, first edition started at Pegasus. You wish you could get that for 20. <laughs> Look at that bad boy. That's a first edition Pegasus. Wow. Um, and then we have a first edition starter deck Yugi Evolution. It's pretty cool. We always want to get those first editions. Wow. Wow. Okay. These are all structure decks? Dude, is this going to just keep going? Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, get like a box ready for this, you guys. This is like... Yeah. Okay. Maybe an even bigger box. Maybe the one that's over there. Yeah. Um, structure deck Warriors Triumph again. Okay. Start a Kaiba Evolution first edition this time, so we did end up getting a first edition one. Um, I didn't know this would be the direction these videos go, but a third Start a Kaiba Evolution Unlimited. Man, this is going to be difficult for the HUDs. We just got to go with the flow though, right? Invincible Fortress again, first edition. We'll just have to keep counting as it goes. Uh, wow, a Rise of the Dragon Lords first edition. I don't know if I've opened that one. All right. Uh, next is a Joey Unlimited. Still pretty cool to see Joey. We can take some of these ones. Yeah. yeah. A next is a oh no, no way. Another first edition. Start at Yugi. Wow, wow, you guys. Wow. Well, see, this one's different though. This is first edition for Europe edition, but still, it's first edition. This one's just regular first edition. I don't know what that means, but it probably means the regular ones maybe worth a little more. Oh man. What just, let's, let's not stop, right? That's our first edition, English edition. That's Joey, that's just a Joey first edition. I don't, it's for US and Canada, that one says. Okay. I don't know what that means to the, about the value though. There's another Dragon Lords Felgren. Rise of the Dragon Lords. Structure deck uh, in the deep. Fury from the deep, first edition. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude, are you freaking kidding me? Like, I don't even know where the value's at right now. A first edition Star Deck Yugi. For Europe edition. But dude, the value's still gotta be insane. Like, I don't even know what that thing's like. Oh my god. Alright, uh, we- Oh, we got the, uh, Blade Edge Star Deck for GX. I know that's got some value. Joey, Blade Edge. Is this another Joey? Oh, US Canada Unlimited. Structure Deck for, uh... Warriors Triumph again. I did. I did not know there's this many. Dude, did, did, 
This thing's infinite. It doesn't stop. Warriors Triumph First Edition again. Uh, Structure Deck Lord of the Storm First Edition. Like, is this the part of the video where you get bored or you just like keep watching because it's like it doesn't stop? I don't even know. Zombie Madness and Warriors Triumph. Dude, how many Warriors Triumph are in there? Five. First Edition, both of those. Invincible Fortress first edition. And another first edition for Europe, Yugi Starter Deck. That's three of those, dude. What the freak is going on? US and Canada Joey again. Uh, this one was first edition though, so we'll be that one out. Looks like this he got this from a like GameStop or something. Uh, Zombie Madness, first edition. And more Felgrand first edition. Another zombie madness. All first, I might as well just say unlimited. Uh, Blaze of the Destruction. Warriors Triumph. A Lord of the Storm again. Millennium Fortress. Hey, little uh, gadgets. What's it called? Ma Machines Revolt. Two. It's pretty much a case of Warriors Triumph in here for edition. Another Star Deck though, uh, Blade Edge, that's pretty sweet, and it's first edition. Those are actually pretty hard to come by. And finally getting to the end. Hey, another Felgram, first edition, and another Star Deck, Blade Edge. Wow. Three first edition Yugi's in there. And then a first dead Yugi and Kaiba. Let's put these in their own thing somewhere, or I'll just leave them. Alone. This is like crazy value. Alright, next box. Next box coming up. You just be careful. Alright, let's do this next box, and it looks like it is another case. Is it the uh, tins to go with our last 2006 tins? Dun 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 dun! It is, dude, that's so cool. Uh, so it's a 2006, yeah, it's four, it's four Hammond Lord of Striking Thunders. Uh, Thunders. Uh, Haman, some people would say, but I'm just going to say Hammond because it sounds cool. Uh, Hammond, though. Pretty sweet, you guys. Four, three or th four of those. Four Urias, or Urias. Uria, Lord of Striking Thunders. That's crazy. And then Elements of the Hero, um, Flaming Wingman. Elements of the Hero, Shining Flare Wingman, sorry. Four of those as well. Look at this, you guys. Absolute insanity. Absolute insanity. Sealed case. Sealed case. Another sealed case for you, Lin Money. And what is this one? 2005? Jeez, dude, sealed cases? Just non stop? Is this just sealed cases non stop? Oh my gosh. Wow. That is a Crystal Beast Sapphire Pegasus times four. Five. Actually, that's the one you'd want times five of. That's sweet. So we got five of those ones. Um, though I'd want at least four plasmas, but this is Elements of Hero Plasma Tin. Three of those. And then four um, Elements of Hero Grand Neos from 2005, right? No, 2007. Whoops, so, my bad. My bad. 2005 is the Dark Magician Tins we opened earlier, because I know 2004 looks a little different. Very beautiful, you guys. So five, three, and four. Wow, so that's 2007. What do we have here? All right, let's just set that up for now. This looks classic. Sami Blade? What is this different? Not English. Not English? German? I don't know. Installed? I don't know. This is 2004 tins and it looks like it's in English. It's just a weird box. Yeah, so here's the 2004 tins, you guys. So this is an entire case. Um, we'll check the language, I'll make sure. So this is a, uh, yeah, they're English, okay. Uh, Celtic Guard, Obnoxious Celtic Guardian, two of those. Wow, dude, 2004s are so cool. I love the tin artwork, though we didn't get like a Dark Magician girl on these ones, it's still pretty cool. Total Defense Shogun, two of those. These ones I enjoyed opening a lot on the channel. Insect Queen, I know you guys have seen me open that a few times, that's one of my faves. The Lay Knight, though, the Lay Knight was actually in Chaos decks for the longest time back in the day. Really cool to see his tin. And then, uh, Command Knight? K 
command, command um, was used in Warrior Beatdown back in the day, given all your wars, I think, four or 500 attack, and then, of course, the Swift Guy, the Fierce Knight. That was uh, the more valuable tin, or Blade Knight, actual tin, was actually the more valuable one back in the day, but um, pretty cool card. People tried to use them in Earth Beatdown, I think, was the Swift Guy, just with Guy power, making him a 2800, I think, when he summoned or something like that, and he was easier to summon, so... But yeah, very cool to see these 2014 a sealed case, and these are all English editions. Just a different language case for them. Two of each. Wow, that's crazy to see sealed cases like this. It's been so long. All right, so are we getting close? Yeah, we have a few more tins. Okay. okay let's start uh, stacking the cases on on the, uh, the table. So we'll do that. So they make room by stacking these boxes together. All right. So here's another case here. And next box, which one? Another, it looks like tin case, you guys. It just doesn't stop, keeps going. And it's, is it seriously 2004? Oh my gosh. So that's English this time. Oh my gosh. It is. It's two of each tin again. Total Defense Shogun. So just to make sure, Total Defense Shogun. Late Night again. That is, that is insane. That is so insane. Command Knight. And uh, Insect Queen. And of course, Obnoxious Celtic Guard. I feel like we didn't say Swift Guy the first night. Where you at, Swift Guy? Another sealed case. That's two cases of 2004, you guys. Where are we at right now? We're in like a whole new world of Yu-Gi-Oh. A whole new world. What is this? Is this seriously more 2004? <laughs> Looks like we're opening some 2004, boys. Wow, that's three cases of 2004. Once again, let's make sure. Insect Queen, Obnoxious, Command Knights, Swift Gaia. What? That is crazy. Three cases, Kaiba. I guess he wanted to, us to open up 2014. And Blade Knight, and Total Defense Shogun. Wow. Alright, what's next? More tins. The tins don't stop. 2007. Again with the 2007s. Another case of Crystal Beast Sapphire Pegasus. So one, two, three, four, five of those, three plasmas, and four granules. Holy guacamole here. Is this more tins? Last tins. Besides the big boxes. It's a big box. Oh, there's big boxes. You think they're tins? More 2007, right? Yeah. Uh, so, Crystal Beast. So we have two cases of this then. Five of the Crystal Beast... Crystal Dragon, what's it called? Rainbow Dragon. <laughs> and then we have three Volcanic Doom Fires and four Plasma Bikes. Well, good thing we haven't been stacking those up. Yeah, but really likes this. This is all tins. Okay. Okay, okay. So just to give you guys an idea, because I know this camera's still on, right? Yep. This is the next box room. Okay. You guys are still with us, right? Like what how long is this so far? 30 minutes? 30 minutes? Um, 40 minutes. Well we'll see what happens here. Here we go. Oh. You guys are gonna need to get a box ready if it's gonna be a whole bunch of stuff. Okay. Alright, first off, Kaiba. Oh jeez. Loose packs. Our first one's Ancient Sanctuary with uh, cards in the back. And includes an ultra rare promo card, and they're promoting the Obelisk, the Tormentor, because that's what you'll get probably. Not. Um, one, two, three, four Pharaoh, Pharaonic Guardians blister packs. And this is the kind of stuff we want to open for videos, right? So this will be fun. Um, let's keep going. So this is what you want to buy. Fun. Fun in the sun. What we got next? We have a, this is just, just shenanigans, an upside down Metal Raiders blister pack, because that's interesting. English edition for Europe, maybe. 
Flame Eternity, three of those. I was gonna say, just keep bringing them. Let's see. More Pharaoh's Servant. Um, ancient Sanctuary again with the card in the back. Ancient Sanctuary. Ancient, ancient Sanctuary. Wow. Okay. What else? All right, we're gonna hit him upside down and. Oh, what is that? Okay. Oh. Okay. Oh no. Remember, it's still sealed. Don't tell anyone. It contains one retired pack. First edition. What? It's first edition. Pharaoh's servant. Uh, Pharaoh's servant. Yeah, you have. Pharaoh's servant. Yeah, that is a necrophilia. You got. It. I'm talking about the first edition pack, though. First edition pack is very rare. Very rare. It could be a Jizno first edition. Straight from the past. Is this another one? Oh, it's not first edition this time. What the heck? Alright, whatever. These packs came off. Alright, more of them. Uh, there we go. There we go. And that one's not first edition. So, wait a minute. Did they accidentally, like, put a first edition Pharaoh's Sermon in one of these? <laughs> that's, that's hilarious. So, just to remind everyone, this is a first edition... Okay. Let's keep going here. Let's keep going. Now we have Dark Crisis. Dude, some random pack openings. Oh, snap, dizzle pop. Alright, then you want to take care of these and be careful? Alright. What is this? Is this special editions? Oh, these are the most fun to make videos with. See, we can open these up and have just like mix around products for videos. So this is always great. Elemental Energy sealed box of three of each of uh, the Elemental Energy cards with a super rare card, which I'm not gonna remember it is at the moment, but uh, very cool to see that sealed Elemental Energy. But this is unlimited cards. A Breakers of the Shadow? That's random. Kinda maybe likes that set of the newer sets. A uh, Crossroads of Chaos Special Edition. Remember, Crossroads of Chaos first edition packs only came um, first edition in the tins or as a, which we opened, is a, what are they called? Pre release. First edition in the pre release. Gladiator's Assault first edition, you guys. This is the nuts. This comes with an actual uh, Dark Crisis booster pack inside. And you get Phantom of Chaos, which is pretty cool. You can get Phantom of Chaos. And then also. Last time we opened up some of these, I believe we pulled a secret rare, um, the book, the Dark Magician book that gains you 700 life points or something like that, and 700 attack maybe. I'm trying to remember. But it's actually one of the most valuable secret rares from the GX series. For real? Two light of Destructions. <laughs> Two light of Destruction special edition boxes. Wow. Like three. You lied? Why are you lying to me? <laughs> Don't lie to the viewers. Three Light of Destruction Special Edition boxes. What are we even going to do with that? That is insane. That's so many awesome videos. Oh, I love you, Kaiba. Kaiba's my bestest friend. Dude, Kaiba's not on the camera. What happened to Kaiba? <laughs> Lane, did you kick you kick Kaiba out? Dude, Kaiba's going to come back for us with vengeance. Don't piss Kaiba off. Here, um... Oh, wow, a Special Edition Duelist Genesis. Very cool. This is the Epidemic Virus. Let me get that Phantom Darkness one. That goes with the lights. And a special edition for Phantom Darkness, you guys. You guys know what's in here, right? Because I don't. I'm just kidding. But yeah, Phantom Darkness, that's your uh, Dark Armed Dragon set. Very exciting. Very exciting. Goes with the light, the lights and the dark. Really? Wait, is this what I think it is? Is this the Dark Magician Girl set? Oh, I can't remember. Oh, Lost Millennium special edition cards. Oh, I can't remember right now. Includes one variant card in it. Oh, I don't remember. I think maybe the Dark Magician Girl one was before this. But either way, still very cool. The Lost Millennium Special Edition. Um, lots of Lost Millennium packs. And Lost Millennium packs are getting more and more expensive because the more and more valuable because the ultimate rare cards inside, such as like Ancient Gear, Golem, Brain Control. Some of the ones. Oh, Elemental Heroes. Oh, last wow. One. Another one of these. That's the last one? Last one. That's the last Special Edition? Yes. And then we have two more boxes. So one has ten Let's do that one if it's ten bucks. Okay. Well, ten bucks. Yeah, five bucks ten. So here, you set those here. Set to the side, though. 
All right, you guys, are you ready? Kaiba's ready. I'm just gonna end with it. <laughs> Give it to us, Kaiba. Okay, so first box here. Well, here, set this on the chair there. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna take it out because it makes me happy. Okay. Makes me happy touching all these video cards. Ugh. Okay, Kaiba collection. So first thing inside was, so this is, this is not a tin box. Wait, what's in this one? Booster box. Booster box? Oh, let's do, let's do the special edition first. This, this seems like it's pretty rare. Okay. So let's do that one. I get to be picky. Last two boxes. Last two boxes. So if you guys were wondering, some of the boxes around us aren't exactly all private collection, but they are UV. Alright, so here we go. Rise of Destiny. I believe this is the special edition that's going to have Dark Magician Girl then. It's somewhere. She's somewhere in here. But either way, very cool to see Rise of Destiny special, special edition box. Oh, snap. Okay. Alright, next we have another Phantom Darkness special edition box, you guys. Once again, this is 10 special editions with 3 packs in each and a variant card. Beautiful. Beautiful. Um, what have we already seen? More Lost Millennium. Once again, I think Lost Millennium and Rise of Destiny have like reprints of the uh, variant cards, or reprints. So we have seen these. We have not seen these yet. I didn't show the other one. But yeah, End of Anubis. These are Japanese tins though from the same 2004 tin, but it says 2005. So Japanese 2005 tins. I'm saying it has the uh, same 2004 tin design on me. Set this face down. Wow. Oh my gosh. Wow, there's more Forbidden Legacy? Yo! One, two, three, four, five, six! And a Ultimate Edition with the Ultimate Rare, or the Ult. I guess it's Ultimate, but uh, the Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon inside. I believe this has the manga. Dark Revelation, is that two? Dark Revelation, one? And, uh, but yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six more Forbidden Legacies, you guys. Three packs in each, that's 18 packs, but that's six of each of these classic sets. Magic, uh, Spell Ruler, I guess. Uh, Blue Eyes White Dragon and Metal Raiders. Wow. Dude, I love that. Is something really nice in here? I'm not going Okay. He's not gonna show me something that's really nice. This is actually really nice. Yeah. Uh, but it must be really, really nice. Uh, Shadow of Infinity Special Edition. This is pretty sweet. Um, once again, ultimate rare versions of the Demon Gods, Demon Lords. Let's we'll call them Demon Lords for this video. Phantasm Beast. We'll call them Demon Lords though, because I like that name. Because the demons and the gods, you know. Uh, wow, Tactical Evolution. Oh no, this is 30. This is 30 Special Edition. Remember those Special Editions we're looking at on the, uh, eBay? That's 30 of them in here. So Lab of the Nightmare plus two, two, two Tactical Evolution packs. So these are all, this has 30 Labyrinth of Nightmare booster packs inside. 30 Labyrinth of Nightmare booster packs. I think, I don't even know if I want to keep these as special editions. We can open up a 24 pack Labyrinth of Nightmare box. Dude, dude, that's exciting. That's actually really valuable. Sorry, that's not. Um, okay. No, dude, Forbidden Legacy doesn't stop. Two more Forbidden Legacies. Once again, it has that variant rare, Blue Eyes, Dark Magician, maybe Karibo. Another Lost Millennium? Dude, I've never had this much Lost Millennium ever. This is crazy. Another Gladius' Soul? Oh yeah, Gladius' Soul has a Dark Crisis in it. Is this the last box? This is the last box. Caden says this is the prize. The prize special edition. And it is. Oh, Invasion of Freaking Chaos. My favorite set. Oh no. Oh no, dude! I'll, I'll make a video for each one of these. I can take, dude. I love taking my time for these freaking packs. I just look at every card for ten minutes each. Just <laughs> love it. Smell it. Sniff it. Sleep with it. Invasion of Chaos, baby. 2004, I think. But yeah, special edition Invasion of Chaos. So we get 30 packs of Invasion of Chaos and 30 freaking packs. Imagine if we pull a Emperor Chaos Emperor Dragon, Envoy the Beginning, or a Dark Magician. Okay. Um, also, though, the ultra rare cards or the variant cards in this special edition Gemini Elf, Serena Destructions, Lava Golems, maybe. I don't know, I can't remember them all right now because too many Yu Gi Oh's in one day, but pretty crazy. What was also in that box, you guys, which actually may hold somehow the highest value of it? Actually, 30 freaking 
Pack Special Edition Tactical Evolution is crazy, but a 2002 Red Eyes Tim. What do you even do? What do you even do with that? You don't know. You don't know. Okay, ready? The last box of Destiny. Last box of Destiny! Give it to us. Gaiba! Here we go. Are we actually doing this video in under an hour? Good job. We do this. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, well, let's, let's start with what we hope is not as valuable as those. Um, a 2005 Japanese tent. My soul is, is crying inside. Oh, don't oh, even point. touch it! Don't even touch it, Kaden! <laughs> don't even touch it! Uh, we have a Rocket Warrior 2005, because I guess we have random 2005 tins just chilling about. Um, um, oh my god, there's multiple. Oh, jeez. Oh, beautiful god of Yu-Gi-Oh. What have you done to my soul? Oh, sweet. The uh, Japanese 2004 tin here, right? I think it's 2003, maybe. Pretty old, though. That's Dark Paladin as the there. Right there. Um, I think there's another one. That's cool. That's pretty cool. Okay, can you can you stack these ones kind of together in a nice way so that we can go through the others first? There's, uh, just send more towards this. Side. Just send them over here. Yeah. Uh, another 2004 tin for Insect Queen. Yeah, Plasma 2007. Very cool. John here. Looks like we got more Japanese, so we have more. Oh my god, it's like a case of them. I think this is the one that has the the dark gilfer in it. No, dark, dark gilfer. The guy that's is a vanilla, I think. We opened it before and we had a uh, factory error one where we pulled two of it and we're not supposed to pull two of it. But yeah, so this is a 2003 2004 tin. And it looks like we have almost a whole case of the Japanese. That's crazy. Maybe we'll pop it open and see what packs are inside. And stuff we have. Packs. On the side, though, you have, or it has Dark Paladin, and then on the side, it has Buster Blader, and maybe Dark Magician. Yeah. Pretty cool. Um, it looks like there's still three more. One, two, and three. This is the last box, mind you guys. This is it. This is where it all ends. Right here, right now. Okay. 2004. Yeah, most of this is going into storage, boys. Is there really more down there? Yes. Oh, gosh. Most of this is going into storage. 2004. Command Knight, Obnoxious Celtic, and uh, Insect Queen. And, oh my gosh. Before we do the uh, final drum roll. <laughs> Beautiful man, oh my gosh. Okay, we have a 2004 Blade Knight Command Knight. And it looks like, oh, the Dark Paladin doesn't wants to keep its shine going here. There's literally a case of these in there. That's it? That's it? All right. Take those away, Lin Money. Are you guys ready? The end of the Kaiba collection. The video is coming to a close. This is where it all ends. And what else, what better to end it with than the almighty, the amazing, the way too valuable, way too hard to find seal, 2002 tins. You guys ready for this? First off, that's a 2003 tin, so you can go first, Kaiba. Um, Kaiba's Lord of D, a powerful monster that is able to summon the one and only blue eyes white dragon. And we only have two of the least most valuable tin of the 2002. That's okay with me. We have one, two, summon skulls, able to call upon God of Lightning. Or no, he's not a god, the Demon of Lightning. And it looks like we actually have three of those. 2002 summon skull tin, you guys. Once again, we're talking about insane value right now. Because this is, you do not want to open. You don't want to open these. Um, to go with our... Red eyes earlier. Did you put it somewhere? Oh well. To go with our red eyes earlier, we have two more. Two thousand. Wait, we're, we're missing a black dragon. Red eyes, black meteor dragon. Or what was it? Meteor black dragon. Meteor black dragon. Yeah. What? Black skull dragon. Black skull dragon. There we go. Yeah, we didn't get any of those ones. Oh well, that's fine. Wait, where'd you find that? That was in one of the other boxes. Yeah. Oh, it was was this? Did I say this was red eyes earlier? Yeah. Okay, my bad. So yeah, this is a uh, black skull dragon. Whoops. 
Um, very cool though. And, oh, thank you. And last but not least, a second 2002 Dark Magician tent. It looks like Kaiba didn't want to send us his rare and powerful Blue Eyes cards or Blue Eyes tins because it's just too powerful. What is it, Kaiba? Look in the box again. Oh. Thank you, Kaiba. <laughs> it's a 2002 Blue Eyes White Dragon tin. Wow. Oh. Oh. There's another one. Silly me. <laughs> Kaiba. Kaiba. Two 2002 Blue Eyes White Dragon tins. What a freaking beautiful display of cards here. Seal 2002 tins, you guys. I don't know how long it's been since I've seen two 2002 Blue Eyes tins together like this. It's been... I've known, I don't know if I've ever seen that, actually. What is happening right now, guys? What is this? And I don't want you guys to forget about these, either. Those are first edition starter packs. First edition. Wow. Was that fun? Insane. That, that was insane. 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 Insanity, says Lynn Money. So, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this uh, Kaiba collection. Probably the most massive Yu-Gi-Oh! mail opening you'll ever see on YouTube. I don't know if we'll ever get a collection like this again. I don't know if anyone else is, but if someone else does, good for you. But this is, this is insane. Once again, um, I did a Kaiba collection video the first time, and I was trying to tell you guys in that video. This is not to show off. This is what, because um, a few years back, I did get the Simple Money collection was stolen. So this is us gathering through the years, gathering money to purchase another collection and purchasing it over time. And it finally came true. And this is what happens. Kaiba set us up, gave us what we needed. And so this is all going to be for the SU Corp, the SU Corp card shop, the Simple and Lucky card shop. And once again, you guys, shout out to the new Patreon video. If you guys have not seen already, some huge things that the uh, SU team has been working on. You guys, we've been working very long and hard. Lend money over there is like, yes. Yes. <laughs> and uh, so hopefully you guys check that out and participate because it's, it's going to be epic. It's going to be awesome. Some new things that Simple and Lucky is doing moving forward that we didn't even fully imagine until we all came together and I'm hoping you guys didn't even imagine as well. It's going to be awesome. Not just videos. That's what I'm, that's what I'm saying for now. So check that out, you guys. And of course, look forward to the future for the SU shop, the Simply Unlucky card shop, hopefully making one of the best card shops in the world. And uh, before we end this video, I wanted to ask you guys to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed the content and subscribe for more epic Yu-Gi-Oh! videos and pay money. Simply Gaming. And Simply Unlucky, son.